Good day, everybody. Today, I'm going to discuss an example problem in chi-square goodness of fit test, sometimes called chi-square GOF test. So without further ado, I'll share my screen with you. Test for goodness of fit, chi-square test. Problem, a survey was targeted at determining if the educational at attainment affected internet use. The data are listed below. Is there significant evidence at alpha, that is a level of significance equal to 0 0.05, that the proportion of internet users differs for any of these groups, okay? Now we have three categories, graduated college plus, attended college and did not attend college. So observed under graduated college plus categories 44, apps, uh, attended college category, second category, observed this count is 41 and did not attend category, did not attend college category, observed count is 40. So the total sample size is 44 plus 41 plus 40 is equal to 125, okay? Our null hypothesis is the proportion of internet users is same in each group or each category. P1 equal to P2 equal to P3 is equal to one over three. Why three? Because there are three categories, which is 0.334, okay? So, we have the three categories, graduated college, attended college, and did not attend college. We have the observed counts, 44, 41, and 40. Now we have to calculate the expected counts. If the proportion is same in all categories, so we take the total sample size of 125 and multiply it by 0 0.334 or 125 divided by three, the expected count in each category will be 41.67, assuming the null hypothesis is true. That is P1 equal to P2 equal to P3 equal to one third point three three four. So if the same proportion, the expected count in each category is same 41.67. Now, this is called a goodness of fit test. So we compared the observed count to the expected count, take the difference of the two, observed minus expected count for each category, square the difference and divide by the expected count. Do it for all the categories, the same calculations, observed minus expected, square of the difference divided by the expected count, okay? Now, the sum of this difference observed minus expected squared divided by expected is our chi-square test statistic. Instead of calculating it by hand, we will do use TI-84. So first thing we will do is clear the memories of the calculator, second, then plus on top of enter, then number four. Clear all list, then hit enter, done. Then stat and one, okay? So, uh, I will enter the observed counts in L1, which is 44, 41, and 40, okay? Then I will move to the top of L2 and enter the expected values in L2, which is 41.67, 41.67, and 41.67. Okay, now I have to do the chi-squared GOF test. So I press the stat button, then highlight the test on the top row, highlight the test on the top row. Then I scroll down, not to the first chi-squared test, but chi-squared GOF test. Again, GOF means goodness of fit test. Okay, so I scroll down to chi-squared GOF test. GOF stands for goodness of fit, means I'm comparing the observed count to the expected, expected count and how closely they fit, how closely they're together. That is the whole goal. 
So when I see chi-square GOF test, I press the enter button. My observed is in L1. My expected is in L2. What is my degrees of freedom? Is number of categories minus one. Here there are three categories. My degrees of freedom is three minus one, two. And then I calculate the test statistic. Okay, so the test statistic value works out as 0 0.207. Look at the p-value, 0.901. This is greater than level of significance, 0 0.05. Therefore, since p is greater than alpha, decision is do not reject H0. Conclusion at alpha equal to 0 0.05, there is not enough evidence to support the alternate. I will stop here today. If you have any question, please do not hesitate to write me a comment. I will respond to you right away. And thanks for watching. Have a great day. And I will see you again next time. Take care, okay? See you later.